Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4 as Italy on Elite Iron Man mode with historical AI, so let's get into it. So in our first episode, we took over France first, and then we turned in their colonies into a puppet state, Nation Francaise. And uh, so we have colonies pretty much over all over the world, and that gives us resources for very cheap. Our next task that we're going to be focusing on today is the invasion of the United Kingdom. And pretty much after they're out of the way, we're not going to have to worry about um, controlling the Mediterranean because we'll have Gibraltar and the Suez. Uh, so we'll have a lot of control over the Mediterranean, and we should have enough factories to invade Germany and Russia, no problem. Um, so let's get into this video here. First off, the first, so this is literally where I ended the last video. The first thing that we're going to be doing is creating an amphibious assault. So I'm going to take Messe's best divisions and we're going to put them on a naval invasion order here and i prefer to go for dover because sussex is a, na a level 10 naval base and is in range and you can typically get across to dover fairly quickly So we're going to be doing the three-pronged approach here that I like to do. So we will attack the actual port with four divisions and we'll surround the port with another six. So Messe will start to work on that let's work on the other troops that are going to be coming in so let's actually get Balbo's divisions here let's see if he's he's a desert fox he doesn't really have a lot of upgrades and he's only a level 3 general Cavallero has good planning speed, he's level 4 and he's good at the attack, and he is a mountaineer and an infantry expert. So let's use Cavallero. Gosh, Visconti is still just a skill of level 1. Soto is still skill level of 1. Let's get all these ca cavalry divisions over into Cavalero's army. And this looks like a fine army to invade the United Kingdom with. So we'll have two 24 division armies over there. We're going to need to line up here, though, because I think that's the only place we're where we're going to meet the UK head on, because this is our core territory right here. Put him on a fallback line there. Visconti, Visconti still is only a level one skill. That's kind of surprising. And we can get the rest of the Ethiopian divisions over here. I think we're going to have to abandon one of these guys. Let's abandon Sodu. And actually, it makes more sense to abandon Visconti as well. Okay. 
So we'll put him on an order here to take Port Said in Suez. All of our Air Force is going to be posted in the channel. Looks like we have some carrier fighters. We'll need to deploy them as well. We don't have any carriers, but they are still useful. And as I showed last video, we got hit by strikes, which was a major error on my part. And so we only have three civilian factories because um, strikes increase the amount of consumer good factories by 20%. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. We will need a supply of oil though. And this is gonna take quite a lot of oil. So next thing we're gonna do is organize our Navy. So I like to have three main battle groups here. Okay, the subs will be based in Brest. So all those units should start redeploying. God, I wish we could have gotten the French Navy. If we start to get in a lot of trouble, we might have to bring in um, the Free French into the war against the UK, but I don't, I don't think that should happen. No divisions in basic training. That should be okay. We're still behind on guns and support equipment. Address the strike crisis we have. See if we can't get iron from anyone else here. Doesn't really look like it. So we can invite Hungary into our faction. And I think that that's okay. If we do that, then they can't join the Axis. I guess they could get out of our, um, let's see here, Novus Imperium Romanum. They could get out of our faction. Let's see if they actually join. Okay, sweet. I wonder if Bul Bulgaria would join. Okay, Bulgaria is already in our faction, so that's great. Will they give us garrison support? No.
Okay, so we're just a little bit behind on our equipment to fill these garrisons up. Albania should be at a point where we could probably go to secret police. We'll see how that goes. And then Nation of Frances. Um, let's keep him at martial law and see what happens. It's probably missing planes. Yep, so I don't really worry about that too much. And thank goodness we still have all these military factories. Going to start hurting from for aluminum in a little bit. So let's go like that. Churning out battleships very slowly. Uh, and this should pull us through. If we get, if we land our tank divisions on UK soil, this should uh, move us pretty quickly. That should be fine. I would say our main production bottleneck is our infantry equipment. Okay, now to assign admirals. Let's go Zara for our main fleet. Campionia. And then for the subs. Spotting speed would be good. Let's do Fior Vanzo blockade runner. So the retreat decision chance on our subs will help keep them alive a little bit longer. We're probably going to use them in the English Channel just to get that naval superiority up. Give him concealment expert and smoke screen. Okay, so everyone's getting to their places. Almost have the modern fighter up. Okay, so the resistance is going to rise in here for sure. We have 500, half a million manpower from our puppets, so that's nice. And it looks like pretty much everyone's in place here. Heroes on the production front, we get base stability 5. Remove strikes, widespread strikes, general strikes. Excellent. All right, and then we get those civilian factories back and the extra research slot. Uh, we'll go Italian uh, highways and then see if we can't prospect for oil. That will be really nice. We get more guns with the extra research slot. That's your, the best bang for your buck. I would change up some of my division templates, except I don't really have, I guess I have artillery that we could use. Uh, so I could filter artillery into that base division. Believe it's something like 14, so we should be okay. So if I put artillery with these guys, we should be okay. Hopefully they don't y lose their, they did. That probably wasn't a good idea because they lost a level of experience. Request garrison, garrison support. Request from Nation Francais. This request will expire on the 25th of October, 1937. 
So I'm assuming that they want manpower. Manpower needed to maintain their policies. 210,000. We're going to decline that. Let's see if we can decline their manpower over here. Hmm. All right, well, hopefully they maintain their policies and they get more manpower. Okay, Messe is almost ready. You have air experience, so we can start researching air doctrines. And we lost all of our production efficiency there. I'm going to get as much oil in the stockpile as I possibly can. Conquer Malta from the UK. Really, it's going to take us 155 days. March 18th, 1938. I think I just messed that up right there. I thought it was going to only take 31 days. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I kind of want to cancel the justification, but I don't want to start all over again. Okay, we'll just bite the bullet. Let's go for some Blitzkrieg. Start upgrading these guys here. We mainly just want to keep that fleet alive. All right, so these guys look good. This delay is not really going to help us that much. Why are these two guys still over here?
Hmm, I don't really need this guy. Guess we'll take him. Okay, so we're going to get formation flying. We're going to divert bomber production to cover their orders. And consumer good factories, negative 5% for 180 days. Um, but tactical bombers, which we're not producing, get a, a plus 10% debuff. But we're not producing tac bombers, so it doesn't matter. And we're going to have plenty of oil here. Let me just remind myself. Okay, we're trading with the Soviets, so I shouldn't have to take that off during the war. Sure, these little upgrades help, but I would have rather had the war goal in just a few days. So maybe someone down in the comments section below can tell me what happened there. Like I did justify against Malta, so that was not, maybe not core on the United Kingdom. I don't know. Let's get two synthetic refineries in Libya. That's gonna be awesome. And then I think a uh, commenter asked, why not just um, take this as core? Um, well, because we're pretty much going to take the home island, so the any battle over here is just not going to matter. Uh, this invasion over here will make us or break us on the UK home island. MPs would be good to have at this point. We might have wanted to go MPs before dive bombing. I think that that might have been a better play. We will get these support weapon twos pretty quick. So there is something to be said for waiting. Although the UK's production, since we're in elite Iron Man mode, is probably a lot better than ours. And I don't think that they have foreign wars, so they might all be camping out on the home island, so we'll see if we get stopped here. Just trying to see if there's anything else we could get. We're going to have to contend with the better tanks of the Axis, so let's upgrade our to light tank twos. Okay, we got it. And everything should be in place here. Let's put them on convoy raiding. Naval invasion support. Naval invasion support. And then these guys can be spotters. Patrol and patrol. Let me see if I justify again. Oh, okay. Maybe it was 115 days the whole time. World tension is like 100%, though. I would have expected that to be different. like they took off. We could have got our war goal from our 
focus tree here, but I don't think that that matters that much. That could have only taken us 70 days though, so that could have saved us uh, some time there. Still don't think that it's high impact though. This is moving a little too quick. Stability is at 51%. Let's see here. We could improve worker conditions, but yeah, let's do that. I can't risk stability going below 50% and having strikes again. Might as well put the political power, like spend it now instead of spending 125 later. So they're all going to come in, and then we have a pretty strict timeline that we need to follow here. Come on, boys. Get on the beaches. And you can see that this landing right here is blocking them from getting into Dover. All right. We're over. We don't want to bring these guys across all at once, but I would like the cavalry. They're our fastest division. So we'll move these guys over one by one. Let me think about that for a second. Yeah, the cavalry is definitely where it's at. Let's move these other cavalry over as well. They're sadly enough our fastest divisions. Okay, they always seem to have that two right there. And I'm feeling like microing these guys today. Someone's got to hold this guy down here while someone takes Bristol and Cardiff. And we have the level 10 port. Let's get a little lateral with the tanks. Get out there. It's going to be pretty hot. And let's get these guys over in Portsmouth as well. So we'll go for the full commitment and then start trickling these guys over. Have those guys slam straight into London. The faster that cavalry gets on land, the better we're going to do. Prioritize the airports first. These guys took a long time to land. Since someone's in Bristol, let's go there first. Now they 
do have guys moving over. Actually, take that little strip of land, and we can block them off. Taking London is super important, because it's easier for them to hold, as well as it has a ton of factories. We're probably going to lose most of our navy, but from here on out, the war should be a land war. Control B so they go flicker. Same here. Oh, they have an order to go in, so that's not going to help. Let's go ahead and move our whole air force over. Even the naval bombers. So their Air Force, obviously, since it's a coalition, is going to kick our butt. We do have a chance here to strike out north. Time is of the essence here. As we're speaking, um, basically, um, their forces are coming around for sure to reinforce them. So we need to surround the home island with, let's say, a strike force. Oh, they lost their whole spotting fleet. Wow. We'll keep them on naval invasion support. Oh, they were never on anything. Okay. Let's put them on as a strike force as well. And then let's put the subs surrounding the island so that they can pick off whatever is they're trying to reinforce. And at this point, it's all or nothing. We got to do this quick. Okay, tanks are here. Get them across to that tile and then decide what to do next. Get them across that river there. Everyone else is on the move. Perfect. Do we have any upgrades? Nope. Let's see how they're doing in uh, North Africa. Pretty good. And we could bring in Free France here if we need to. Let's put the smaller fleet on convoy rating as well. See how that works out. Okay, so this guy's gonna be a problem. We don't need him to wrap around. When they start wrapping around, that's when they're gonna slow us down significantly. could make it around this way. Okay, they are rec 
recovering quite nicely, so I'm a little scared here, and we're not, we lack air superiority. Not suffering from attrition though, so that's good news. Okay, those guys know where they're going. He knows where he's going. Let's keep the heat up. Nice, even got overruns? Okay. Okay, at this point I do wanna start a battle line. Not affect the tanks or the cavalry, though. We'll do makeshift bridges just in case we're crossing any rivers here. It doesn't look like it, but just in case. Looks like they lost a division. Cavalero did. So Cavalero is mainly over here. get this cavalry off orders. And then his offensive line is going to come around to here. Let's execute that. It looks like he likes that. Okay, and these guys are trying to redistribute, which I don't like. Tanks, that's planes right there, man. We're gonna go planes, hills, probably around to there. There's a nice uh, steamrolling territory right here. Definitely use the terrain to your advantage. Okay, and we got Bristol, so that's a big one as well. Let's see how this works out. So we just need to eat this guy right here, so. That should be fine. A lot of carnage going on here. So we need to go Liverpool to Glasgow. This will help if these guys are more in the middle. Help a little bit. Okay, that's only 400. Guns look good, actually. We're looking good as far as production's concerned. Stability is going up very slowly, but it's going up. Okay, tanks made it across. Let's go for that air base right there. Skirt the cities. Maybe get an eight-man encirclement right there. Love that. Now they're filtering out. Let's pull this up with the 
cav. That's what the cav is here for, basically. Don't allow them to maneuver. That's your main job. This cav is just so close here. I'm just gonna put them on this battle plan order. It just makes the most sense. Okay, they're through. You guys were probably yelling at the screen there. Look at Hull, look at Hull. <laughs> if we could even get these six divisions here, that would be magic. Because they don't have too many divisions to spare. We, we have a lot more divisions than they do at this point. Messi still have his makeshift bridges. Let's give him in again. And let's have him drop in behind. And there's no other ports, so these guys are going to be in a very bad way if this guy gets in Liverpool from that direction. It's going to get ugly. Let me do that. I'll just go around. believe if I get um, Glasgow, the capital will actually just move uh, to Belfast. So let's make sure that we get Liverpool first, and let's make sure that we keep contain over here. better if they're up here. There we go. Oil problems are going to diminish here, and let's uh, work on some Libyan infrastructure, and that will help us out over here, and maybe even boost uh, the amount of oil that we have. Let me double check that. It's going to take three. Let's see what it actually upgrades. Cert 2, Benghazi 3. Uh, so we will get a little bit of extra oil from that, or I could continue to invest infrastructure in that area and get oil that way. That's Benghazi right there. So Benghazi was two, right? No, it was three. Okay, so I'm going to actually, they made it good so that you're actually going to yield something from it. Okay, I won't worry about that. Wow, these guys are having problems. man go let's get these tanks committed and really start steamrolling in there actually ever had a situation like this but at least they're starting to gather themselves over here instead of by London where they have all their production and he can actually cut that port off wow just vanilla 
So they're launching airplanes from up here. Glasgow, I think. Right there. Put him on this up. This guy on the border. So he just has to stay there. All right, come on, boys. The suspense is killing me here. Come on, I don't want to lose my whole Navy here. Get in there, boys. Not you guys, sorry. Perfect. Okay, we move to Glasgow. Now we can take them out. Awesome. All right, we got the tanks. I never know where the tanks are. I assume they're in North Africa. This is always awful to have to deal with. Uh, so we should satellite North Island. And then I'm told to take the English Navy. You take everything, but then you leave them like whales or something like that. Does that make sense? I've never been able to pull this off. So maybe someone in the description box below in the, uh, <laughs> sorry, in the comment box can tell me how to pull this off. Um, but for, from what I understand, you leave them a little piece of something. There's one civilian factory in there. So we could take that. And we have a Northern Ireland as a subject. And then we could basically puppet off everything else. But then leave that. I'm trying to think of what the best way to do this would be. So puppet everything else. It might behoove us to take North Africa, but we don't have anything in our focus tree that helps with that. I do have to hold it. It is going to take manpower and everything. And I can trade basically for whatever resource I want because we should have British Malaya. Let's see what happens when we do that. Satellite the Raj in Malaya. Okay, so we took 15 states and puppeted off the rest. It looks like it gave us that section anyways. And we did not get their navy, so I'm going to have to learn that trick later. Wow, they have 128 vessels there. That's crazy. Do we even have a navy left? Do we still have the pride of the fleet? Midnight here. Portugal seeks to purchase purchase Italian ships. Uh, this will 
be beneficial to both of us. We will receive one off map civilian factory as payment once Portugal chooses a deal. Once they choose a deal? One off map civilian factory. That's interesting how they did that. The Portuguese government, aware of their lack of proper navy, has submitted a tender to purchase it Italian ships. I think I have to take Portugal, actually. But they could purchase our ships. I'll take that off-map uh, civilian factory for you civilian factory fans. They're going to request a garrison support again. Uh, manpower needed is 156. Um, let's give them 50k. Because I'm sure I'm going to be able to get manpower support from the British Empire. It's going to have to be on martial law. They will not give us uh, garrison support. Although we could request forces. Shift left click. Okay. So we have a UK army now. See how many subs were left? Not too many subs. Wow, that's looking bare bones right there. Let's put them on a hold order. Let's put these guys on a hold order and these guys on a hold order. So lost a lot of Navy. Let's see how many battleships we have left. Two in that fleet. Yikes, none. Early cruiser hull. Okay. All right, so that's the Italian sea lion there. Pretty much the world is my puppet. And uh, yeah, this will end the video here. And this is what the world kind of looks like now. We should be able to trade for whatever resource we want. And we will be trying to go for our long-term goal that I've to realize Roman ambitions. We should be able to do that. We need to take the low countries, and we need to take even parts of Hungary and Romania, I believe. So to reach realize Roman ambitions, you go all the way around the Mediterranean like that. And so that would take quite a while. But we could really work on it right now uh, before Germany has even attacked Poland. But I'm, I'd be pretty confident. I would never discount the Germans, I guess. But without the allies to intervene, we can take everything down here pretty much. And maybe even try to go to war against Czechoslovakia. But the Germans might declare war on us at that point. I don't know. But we should be able to start steamrolling at this point. Uh, just have to worry about our stability. Well, all right, guys. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. There's also a YouTube channel membership button that you can press if you'd like to support me that way. And uh, please leave comments down below about what you'd like to see next. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.